Hey guys, this is James White with Frequent Reviews, where I specialize in as seen on TV product reviews. I'll tell you, I've got the Battle Visor. It's an as seen on TV car visor. Doesn't work as advertised. Let's check it out in today's review. All right, here's what we got. I got not one, but two battle visors. And it just clips onto your visor. And they have this sunspot blocker that you can slide over to adjust to where the sun is actually in your eyes. So that's kind of cool. Let's check it out and see how it works. All right, I read the instructions. It looks pretty simple. So all you do is hook it over your existing visor and you pull it down whenever you're ready to use it. And then you have this sunspot blocker to slide into place whenever the sun's directly in your eyes. I'm gonna stall right now and try it out. By the way, I got two of them. I'm gonna put the other one on my other car and just kinda of leave it outside and see how it handles the high heat because my tack visor didn't do so well. I'll tell you about that a little later. But let's install this and get started with my first use. They say to be gentle about this. I'm going to be gentle. I don't like, see, that's, I don't like this. There's some buttons on my visor that's gonna kinda of go right over those. I'm gonna have to worry, work on that. Okay, I guess that works okay. Oh, really? Hmm. That's nice, it won't even go up. <sighs> Battle visor, you're off to a bad start if you won't even go up. Can I go this way? I guess I can go that way. Not really supposed to, but that's what we're gonna do. The first thing I noticed, just right off the top of my head, is that it's not very tall. It, it only seems to go, the bottom seems to be right where the center of my vision is at, which I'm not really too thrilled about. To look through it is pretty pleasant. It's a nice kind of amber tint, although the sunspot blocker seems to be kind of in the way and makes me, give me a little bit of double vision. Maybe I can put it on this side. No, that's not in the center. It doesn't slide it easily. Come on. All right, that's a little better. So, so far everything's kind of clear. It's, uh, like I said, it's kind of an amber tint. So far my first impression is that it's not too bad. It's not, it's not shabby. I, this, this is a good idea, but I'm not really convinced I like its placement but I'll have to figure how that works a little bit later. So more tests and we'll get back to it. All right, I wanted to try a different car to see if maybe it works a little better in this one because on my Fusion, I didn't feel like my visor, my existing visor was wide enough for it to really go on there properly. It seemed like it was a little bit, didn't seem like it was working properly. So I'm in a different car now, a little bit larger car. And I'm gonna try it out with this one and see what the difference is. Plus the sun is going down. I get to test out a few more things. Let's try it out. As you can see, the sun is right there, nice and glaring. There's the battle visor normal, and then here it is with the sun blocker. Sunspot blocker, battle visor, nothing. It definitely helps with the sun, especially when you use that sunspot blocker. It definitely helps, I will say that. But here's the thing though, sometimes when you're driving this, this sunspot blocker, number, number one, it's not easy to really move left and right. Sometimes it feels like it kind of gets stuck. See that sticking. And the other thing is it, you, it doesn't totally get out of your way. When I'm driving, this is kind of right almost in this, it's a little bit off center, but that aside, it definitely fits in this car better. This is a different car. It definitely fits in here better, but when I put it down, I, I have to do this for it to really work for me. So once, once again, what do you guys think? Direct sun, battle visor, sunspot blocker. I like this feature of the tack visor for sure. I just wish it would, it would move easier. I mean, look at this. If you're driving and you have one hand on the wheel, you're gonna to wanna to use one hand. So I guess you have to kind of do it like this. It works a lot better in this car than the other car I had. The other car, these were kind of twisted because it was too small and it wasn't going down all the way, it was sticking. So in this car, it works, I would say, flawlessly. 
it works perfectly. So you're driving, oh, I'm getting blinded. Oh, that helps, but it's, the sun's still in my eyes. Oh, that's even better. The only problem is even though it blocks the sun, when you're kind of looking through it like this, I mean, that's that's kind of what I'm seeing when I'm driving when it's in the center. I mean, that's not, that's not really ideal to look through. So I don't know. I think it's going to depend on... It's a trade-off between glare and having to look through like two different surfaces. All right, so we got car number three here. Now, what I want to do with the tech visor is the visor I reviewed before. Now, unfortunately, I think it may have got thrown away because it broke, because it bowed so badly in the bright sunlight. So I want to leave this one out in the sun and my other one in the garage and see after a few days if this one bows like the tack visor did. So I'm going to stick it on there and just leave it. This looks like it should fit okay in there. There we go. So this one is obviously way too high to be useful way up there. I'm going to have to put that down to use it. But really what I want to do for this one is put it up, put it out in the direct sunlight, and leave it for a few days and see if it bows like the tack visor did. Well, I'm in my uh, other car, my car number three, and so far it looks like it has not warped at all, which um, after only a couple days, the tack visor was warping. But the tack visor was curved, I think on purpose, but, and I think that curve actually ended up being part of the problem because it started warping in the direction it was curved. This one still looks straight as an arrow, which I'm happy about that. It hasn't warped in the sun, happy about that. Now I'm actually wearing my Battle Vision sunglasses, and uh, I'm looking through those right now. What I find interesting, which I'll show you in a minute, is that the Battle Vision sunglasses aren't the same same tint as the Battle Visor. They're supposed to be kind of related products, but the tint is totally different between the two of them. What I'm going to show you right here on part of my screen is the TAC Visor a clip I filmed in April when it was starting to warp badly when it started getting warm here in Las Vegas. Uh, unfortunately, I think the TAC Visor was thrown away because after it warped, I tried closing the visor and it broke and I think someone saw this mangled pile of plastic next to the trash cans and thought it was trash and threw it away so I don't have the tack visor anymore but I do have the video which shows how badly it warped I will say that I bought the battle visor from the bullpen website for it was 15 bucks plus I think five dollar shipping and the second visor was no extra cost sometimes they throw in a second one but it's like extra fee or extra shipping it wasn't it was there was two for the price of one and I think the TAC visor was about 20 if I'm not mistaken. But it seems like the Battle Visor might be a little bit better deal as far as the cost goes because you get two for 15 bucks. The, the TAC visor is longer, it's a longer panel, which you don't have on this one up here. So you, have, you still have to kind of pull your visor down somewhat. Otherwise, it doesn't really block the sun. So that was one nice thing about the TAC visor is how much longer it was. But on the other hand, when it warps, it doesn't really matter. Oh, also, I want to mention there's also a night version, kind of like they have with the TAC visor, but I did not get that one because they're separate units, unlike the TAC visor, which had them both built into one. That would have been a separate unit, and I didn't really think that... I don't, I don't, I'm not convinced on these night vision glasses and night vision visor that it really does that much. Here's the battle visor. Here's the battle vision glasses. They're not quite the same tint. They're a little bit different. And that also begs the other uh, question is, do you need a visor when you're already wearing sunglasses? Uh, that's a pretty good question, and I really don't have an answer for that. So some people like visors, some people like glasses, some people like both. And that's what both would look like. I tend to prefer sunglasses over a visor. Um, I tried using the TAC visor for, I don't know, a month or two. I just, I, it always felt like it was kind of in my way. As far as the battle visor goes, if you like using visors, I think you might like it. Especially this, although it is a bit hard to slide over sometimes. It seems to get stuck. But I do think that's a pretty good feature the other one doesn't have. But when, you, but when you're using it, you kind of have to lean over to this side so you're looking through that and not looking like this. Because you, you don't want that. All right, so I've got three pros and three cons when it comes to the battle visor. Pro number one is the cost. I got two of them for $15 plus about $5 shipping, so like 20 bucks. So that's $10 a piece. Cost-wise, it actually is pretty good. Number two is that I think that this plastic here is a little bit thicker than the TAC visor. Seems a little more sturdy. I don't think it's gonna warp. It feels like it's, uh, it's pretty sturdy as far as that goes. Number three, as far as the pros go, is it pretty much works as advertised. And I particularly like the sunspot blocker when the sun is in your eyes. Uh, when it's low in the sky, it does a pretty good job of blocking it out. 
Now let's look at my three cons. Con number one is that in, in the three cars I tried in, I had to lower my visor to really get it in my field of vision, which seems a little bit, I don't know, kind of clunky to me. Number two is that as much as I like the sunspot blocker, when the sun is low in the sky, it also tends to partially alter my vision. So I'm kind of looking at two different surfaces at the same time it's a little bit distracting and con number three in my first car my visor had three buttons on it for my garage door and if you have a visor like that when you place it over there in that case it was kind of hard for me to get it open and closed because the clips were a little bit bowed and it was kind of making it fall down so i mean it's something to consider i think that it works generally as the advertising shows i mean obviously the advertising is a little bit hype which most of these kind of military inspired commercials are a little bit hyped up anyways well that's all i've got have you used the battle visor or the tech visor tell me what you think in the comments below please follow my social profiles for progress pictures and videos as i go and please subscribe for more product reviews from me james white with freaking reviews